And now for another view, we turn to Dov Zakheim. He was the Pentagon controller, the Department of Defense's chief financial officer under President George W. Bush. He's currently a senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Welcome back Thank to you. the News Hour. So let's start by talking about Iran. You just heard Senator Tim Kaine said he thinks the president's advisors have buffaloed him into getting to, into a position where we may be at war with Iran. What do you believe should be done by the U.S.? Well, he's not going to be buffaloed. I, this president doesn't get buffaloed. Uh, he's running for office right now. He likes to check off all the uh, promises he made last time around. He promised no war. He'll do whatever he can to avoid it. He's sending troops, but I think what he could do more is probably try to bully the allies into uh, not trying to evade the sanctions. There are a bunch of countries that we're friendly with that are selling oil to Iran. Try to avoid that. Squeeze the Iranians more. But I don't think he wants to go to war. Do you think it was right to send the thousand or more additional troops? Well, you know, what's a thousand troops? Um, frankly, if we start anything with the Iranians, they're not going to retaliate directly. They never do. They blew up the Marine barracks in 1983. That was Hezbollah at their behest. That's how they operate. All right, I want to turn you so much to ask you, Dove Zakheim, but, uh, but on Patrick Shanahan. Yeah. We saw him, uh, you know, withdraw his nomination today. He did have extensive experience in the last few years in the Pentagon. How was he seen there? And now that this information has come out about his past, does that change what you believe would have been his qualifications? Well, um, he had some other issues. Um, for a start, he wasn't terribly popular. Um, he was not seen as a particularly decisive person. He was not seen as somebody who was ready to fight back with the White House. I worked for a guy named Don Rumsfeld, and he fought whenever he felt he needed to fight. That wasn't the perception of Pat Shanahan. Uh, in addition, there were some other issues. There was this uh, incident where uh, the Department of Defense, the Navy, seemed to uh, hear somebody from somewhere in the White House to cover up the... Uh, uh, John McCain, the, the, the warship, because the president was going to be in Japan. That caused a stir. There was a stir over Boeing and the fact that it was a Boeing official. There was a lot going on. That, that you're saying was problematic with his nomination, uh, I which the president was going to go forward with. Until well, then. but, you know, for a start, uh, he w it would have been a very, very rough confirmation, number one. And number two, Again, does the president really want that sort of thing to happen when he's just launched his campaign? Just very quickly to button that part of this up, do you think the White House vetting process is sufficient? Is it what it should be? It's terrible. And not only is it terrible, but they don't realize that all this stuff comes out because the Senate staff also does their work and they talk to the FBI. And they'll keep digging and digging till they find something. And it's not just the majority staff, it's the minority staff. So that the Democrats could have found this out and made a fuss about it. And we heard our congressional uh, correspondent, Lisa Desjardins, say that uh, members of the Senate have known about some of these uh, incidents for some time. Let's talk just very quickly, though, finally, about Army Secretary Mark Esper. The president has now nominated him. How do you view his qualifications and how does he compare uh, to Shanahan? Well, Mark, in a way, is the anti Shanahan. He's very, very popular. Uh, he served. Uh, he's an Army officer. He gets along brilliantly with uh, General Milley, the Chief of Staff, who's going to become Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Uh, popular on the Hill um, and just very well liked, seen to be capable. And I know him personally and I think very highly of him. And so likely to get through the confirmation process. If the President nominates him. Big if. You just heard. <laughs> Dove Zakheim, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.